Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is the pastor, Keith Short, senior pastor at St John's Church in Linlithgow. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity of, to speak to you today. I want to start with what may seem at first glance a silly story. A father was babysitting his daughter. His peace was interrupted by a violent thunderstorm with flashes of lightning and the noise of his daughter moving about her bedroom. He rushed into her room to find her standing at the open window with her arms open wide. And he ran over to her and picked her up. And he asked her if she was frightened. It's all right, Daddy, she said. It's just God. He's taking photographs of me. The idea that God, even if we believe he exists, would be so interested in a little girl that he would take photographs of her may seem to us somewhat ridiculous. Yet I believe that little girl understood something profound about God, the God that I have come to know and serve. As a Christian, I believe that every human being is created in the image of God and as such, is of immense value and worth. The Bible is full of radical challenges. To love one another, even to love our enemies. In John's first letter, we are told that we cannot say we love God, whom we can't see, if we don't love people whom we can see. Let's be honest. That's a challenge for us all. Last weekend, I was in Arbroath with 30 teenagers from a variety of backgrounds. The culture my youth leaders had created was one where everyone was valued and respected. New friendships were forged, barriers were broken down, and fears confronted. That weekend, they found hope, strength, and faith. The conflicts that all teenagers experience just didn't seem important anymore. They had found a new perspective. Henry Nouwen wrote these words shortly before he died, age 63. How much longer will I live? I could live another 30 years. Do I want to live that long? Or do I hope to be united with Christ sooner? Only one thing seems clear to me. Every day should be well lived. What a simple truth. Still, it's worth my attention. Did I offer peace today? Did I bring a smile to someone's face? Did I say words of healing? Did I let go of my anger and resentments? Did I forgive? Did I love? These are the real questions. I must trust that the little bit of love that I sow now will bear many fruits here in this world and in the life to come. Thank you. Thank you. 